Hello everybody, this is another quick video about one of the questions in the Edexcel A-Level Core Maths exam, paper 2, that was this morning at 9 o'clock on Wednesday the 12th of June 2019. So, one of the questions, I cannot remember which, otherwise I would have written it down, sorry, was find the coordinate, or find the x-coordinate of the turning point of x to the x equals y. Now, obviously everyone thinks, hey, differentiation. But that's a little bit difficult when you've got x as the base and the exponent. So here's a trick. You turn it into base e for easy calculus, because when you've got e to the something, you know what to do. It's just chain rule and stuff like that. So, here's the thing. We know that e to the natural log of anything equals itself, or equals that thing. That's one of the rules, because these are inverse functions. So we replace this original x up here with e to the natural log x. And we know this is to the x, so we put it here. And using our power rules, we can multiply these together. So we know y equals e to the x natural log x. So, the derivative of this is this times the derivative of whatever that. That's supposed to be a multiplication symbol. I apologise, it looks really bad, doesn't it? Anyway, this is a multiplication symbol. And you multiply by the derivative of whatever's up here. So if it was e to the x squared, you would have 2x e to the x squared, that kind of thing. So, now we just want to focus on this, which is a nice simple product rule. And so we've got x times the derivative of natural log x, which is 1 over x, plus natural log x times the derivative of x, which is just 1. And so these x's cancel, and you get 1 plus natural log x. So, to find the turning point, we know the turning point has a gradient of 0, so the first derivative equals 0. So we have... 1 times 1 plus natural log x times e to the x natural log x. Bit confusing, but it's alright. We know that e to the anything can never equal 0, but we know one of these two has to equal 0 because it's a product equaling 0. So, 1 plus natural log x equals 0. Move the 1 to the other side, natural log x equals 1. Therefore, x equals 1 over e, or e to the minus 1. Both would be valid.